again tonight. A tender mama to send emails back and forth, a couple photos too, and she could tell that I was hurt. She saw my frozen smile, asked what was going wrong. So I wrote with teary eyes, I lie here in my bed, so no one else can see the monster that I have become a sad anomaly. I think my mind is broken. I don't doubt I'm unhinged. I fell deep into darkness. Now my weeks are looking grim. The first day cuts me to the bone. The second leaves a bruise. The third day I wish I was dead. The fourth day I'm confused. And when the fifth and sixth day come, I've got no damn to give. But the seventh day still comes around, and I go through it all again. I thought I might have scared her off when days with no reply. Weeks later, she responded to my own surprise. She said it's okay. I fell deep into darkness, but somehow I still survived. She said the first year cut me to the bone, the second left a bruise, and dark thoughts clouded up my mind. The third and fourth years too, but when the fifth and sixth years came, I saw a little light. In seven years, you'll realize sometimes it just takes time. To be honest, since we talked, I'm not much better yet. But maybe that's all just because I'm only a few years in. But her words reside deep in my mind, like echoes in the well. So when the week gets difficult, I try to tell myself the first day cuts me to the to the second leaves a bruise. The third day. I'm so over, so over it. The fourth it. day, I'm confused. But when the fifth and sixth day pass, I might see sparks of hope. I strive to keep on living seven days a week, so I'll know.